Hello, 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 and welcome. I wanna thank you so much for clicking on this video. This video is about us praying into learning how to rest in God. This video is for you if you are tired of working really hard and not really seeing the fruit of your labor. If you feel like there has to be more in God than just working, 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 and no fruit. I had to learn what it was like to rest in God. And it wasn't the picture that I thought it was going to be. But you clicked on this video, so I think you need some rest in God. Stay until the end. Bye. As the broadcast title suggests, we are praying about learning how to rest in God. And that is often a difficult thing for us to do because our understanding and comprehension of rest is something completely different than the intention of the Lord. Shaitaria Jones and I help powerful Christian women take what they've learned from the Bible and apply it to their everyday lives so that they can have success in all that they do. I do that by helping them to overcome fear, to receive healing and deliverance, from past hurts and trauma and to uncover patterns that hinder destiny and so I want to pray over you and bless you but before I begin the prayer I need to give you a little snippet so you're able to receive this prayer when I talk about resting in God it's not a place of inactivity. Often we hear the word rest or we hear the word wait and we think of inactivity. But the way uh, the Holy Spirit broke it down to me is that um, just as we have a resting heartbeat, so too we need to rest in Him. You have an active heartbeat and a resting heartbeat. If you have no heartbeat, you're dead. So we don't want you to do nothing because you'd be dead. <laughs> we want you to rest. Um, so there is a resting heartbeat, an active heartbeat, and then there's no heartbeat. You have got to rest in God and understand the difference between resting in God and being full of activity. So I want to pray about resting. Um, so most gracious and everlasting Father, I thank you for these, your people. I thank you that on this day, your people learn how to rest in you. I thank you, oh God, that you would transform our understanding of rest, oh Father God, that you would perform... Uh, transform our understanding of what it means to rest in you, O oh God, because Jesus Christ came as our Sabbath rest, O oh Father God. The, the Sabbath and all that you had given unto us was a foreshadow of what Christ would do for us, O oh God. And so we thank you, O oh Father, that we rest in you. We thank you that rest is not inactivity, O oh Father God, but it is us actively waiting on you, O oh Father God. Just as a resting heartbeat, O oh God, ensures that the body gets the blood blood and the nutrients that it needs oh father us resting in you ensures that our lives are filled the way you have called us forth to be filled oh god that when we rest in you we look to you for provision when we rest in you oh god we look to you for protection when we rest in you oh god we look to you for safety oh god because in your arms there is safety and in your arms there is provision oh god when we rest in you we look to you for our destiny when we rest in you we look to the hills from which cometh our help knowing that our help comes from the only true wise and living God. When we rest in you, we know that there is truth in you. When we rest in you, oh Father God, we find our identity in you. When we rest in you, oh Father God, we are transformed and made new. Old things are passed away, oh Father God, and all things become new. When we rest in you, Father God, we allow you to build us and shake us and mold us and make us, oh God. When we rest in you, oh Father God, we seek first the things of your kingdom, oh God. When we rest in you, we allow your word to go on the inside of us and transform our perspective, oh God. We allow you to give us the insight necessary to walk out this life in this earth realm, oh God. When we rest in you oh God we believe your word oh father when we rest in you oh God we demonstrate our faith in the earth realm when we rest in you oh father God we recite what it is that you say oh God when we rest in you oh father God we are built up on every weak and leaning side and when we rest in you we occupy until you come and so I thank you for the rest of God resting upon your people oh God I thank you for yokes of bondage being destroyed oh God I thank you oh father God for warriors being raised up. I thank you, oh Father God, for people being set free because of our rest in you, oh God. When we rest, we are sure of our identity. When we rest, oh God, we are secure in your word, oh God.
God. When we rest, oh Father God, when the storms of life are raging around us, oh Father God, we are sleeping in the boat because we know who holds the boat in his hands. When we rest in you, oh Father God, we cast our cares upon you because you care for us. When we rest in you, oh Father God, we understand that your word cannot be shaken and therefore we will not be moved. When we rest in you, we are partakers of your divine nature. When we rest in you, oh Father God, we know that you will even send ravens to send us provision. That manna will come from heaven, oh God. When we rest in you, oh Father God, we understand that we are king's kids. And because we are king's kids, oh Father, we have angelic guards that surround us round about. When we rest in you, oh Father God, we understand who we are, oh God. And so I speak identity upon your people, oh God. The identity of the risen Savior. The identity of Jesus Christ, oh God. Lord, I speak even now the power of the redemptive work on the cross upon your people, oh God. That all things would be passed away. Oh God, that their past would no longer hold them bound, oh Father. But I break open the prison doors and I say, peace be still upon your people, oh God. I call forth these people as set apart for your glory, oh God. I call forth these people, oh God, to manifest the words that have been spoken over their lives before the foundation of the world. I even call forth that they would have understanding of the books that were written about them in heaven, oh God. That you have created them to prosper. You have created them to occupy until you come, oh God. And you have created them to have great success, oh God. That these, your people, when they rest in you, they will possess the gates of their enemies. And so I ask, oh God. That you lead them, you guide them, and you strengthen them this day, O oh God. That they would hear the voice behind them saying, this is the way. Walk therein. I thank you, O oh God, for their strength, for fortifying them, and for building them up on every weak and leaning side. And I thank you, O oh Father, that you have called them forth for such a time as this. O oh God, I thank you for loving them and holding them in the hollow of your hand. And when they have questions, O oh God, I thank you that they will seek you that you may be found. I thank you, O oh Father, God that they are no longer fearful of you but they understand that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom that you didn't call us forth to be afraid of who you are oh God but you have called us forth to reverence you when we have a fear of the Lord that we look upon you in your glorious splendor and in your magnificent might that we magnify you above our situations and circumstances that as we rest in you oh God and understand and allow you to envelop us oh God we're willing to let you break us for your will oh Oh God. And so I thank you that these, your people are being broken. Oh God, that they will be like the alabaster box. Oh God, that the oil will be able to flow forth in this season. Oh God, Lord, because their oil is pricey. Oh Father God, they will let you and you alone break the alabaster box. And so I thank you, oh God, for your choices, blessings resting upon these, your people, that you make your face to shine upon them and be gracious unto them, that you bless them in their rising up and in their lying down in their laughter and in their leisure, oh God, and in their going and in their coming, in Jesus' name. Powerful woman, I pray that that prayer on resting in God blessed you in a mighty way. I pray that every yoke of bondage that has kept you from resting in God die by fire and by force. And I just bless God for your newfound freedom in him, the ability to rest in him. Listen, I will see you in another video. Bye.